hey guys welcome to my youtube channel i am root this is my first youtube video in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to highlight and contour for a one face shape so i started off by using um the kiss beauty setting spray in spraying my face then i went in by using a pond a pond is used to control oil on the face so i'm just going to apply that on my face so you have to make sure you rub everything smoothly so there will not be any mark like a white thin chain on your face so i'm not going to rub the pond on my under eye because i want the particular part of my face to be dried then immediately i went in with my olive cosmetic foundation you can check the description box for um, all of the products i used on this particular video so you want to take a little bit of amount of the foundation then you start by rubbing it everyone obviously knows how to rub a foundation on their face but still if you do not know how to rub a foundation you have to take it bit by bit by applying a little bit on the side of your face you don't want to go in by rubbing everything boom 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 you get what i'm saying so you just have to apply it bit by bit on your face then i went around by applying the foundation going over my face up down up down up down up down up down up down just like that same routine up down making sure the foundation goes in and this particular foundation is actually matte because it blends in smoothly like I don't know if you guys can still see it but it blends it smoothly like there's no it doesn't wear off at all then i went in with my beauty blender sponge i'm just trying to make sure the foundation on my face i'm just trying to mat everything in So after finish applying my foundation, I went in with my Elige Pro Concealer for my highlights. Don't forget guys, I said you should check the description box for all of the product I use for this particular look. So I went in with that same beauty sponge. Then I applied um, the Elige Pro Concealer on my under eye. So you want to make sure while applying, you don't apply the concealer like above your cheekbone area you want to make sure it stays on that cheekbone area So I'm applying the concealer on my under eye area. You want to make sure you blend it out very well. Then you also want to apply the concealer on your jawline. That's this particular place I'm doing. Then on your forehead and on your nose because those are the major parts whereby light bounces back on our face. So for my contour, I'm using same Elige Pro Concealer but in a darker shade for my contour. So while applying your contour, you want to take a little bit amount of the concealer. Then you, I usually call this thing a monkey face thing. You want to make sure you are applying it within your ear line. So you have to do your mouth like that. That's why I call it a monkey thing, guys. So you go in by applying it's all round by doing your mouth like that so after applying the concealer on my cheekbone area you want to apply it also on your jaw line area too so you just make sure you blend everything in like that
so after doing that i went in by taking a little bit of the concealer i used for my highlight to add to the contour i i drew for my jawline area more like doing a reverse contour thing then i went in with my foundation i used for my face to blend out the highlights basically this um, particular step it's usually used to help out in blending your highlights faster so there are sometimes where by some persons are in a rush and they really don't know how to blend the concealer out like that they use on their face so applying the foundation and using um, it on your highlights like a little bit of the foundation it helps out in blending faster Just go in by blending, 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 blending. <laughs> oh, I have a bad voice, guys. Please don't criticize me. So, yes, you just go in by blending everything out. That blend, 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 blend. Leaving no one like remaining blend everything. All the one on your forehead, the one on your nose. You just blend everything out. So I went in again with my Ellie Girl Pro Concealer that I used for my contour in applying a little bit on my forehead area. I actually forgot to tell you guys that. Then I went in with my beauty sponge, blending everything out like that. So this is just me, this is what I like doing, I like adding um, from the concealer I use for my highlights in my inner corner area, I like that place looking very sharp whenever light bounces back on my face. So you basically don't have to do this routine but if you want to, you are allowed to do and don't forget guys, I said you can check the description box for every of the products I used. Then I went in by using the Kiss Beauty Setting Spray in spraying my face again. Then I went in with my Kiss Beauty powder. Then I'm just going to apply the powder on my face. To bake my face, I'm using my Benai powder in banana to bake my face. So I'm just going to take the powder and apply it on my face under my under eye area. That's the part where I um, rub my highlights. So I'm also going to take the baking powder and apply um, under my contour area, that's my cheekbone area. I'm doing something I call a reverse contour team. So you want to make sure you don't take too much of the baking powder when applying it on your cheekbone area.
Then for my eyebrow, I'm using a beauty line by DDI Pencil. So I'm not going to be doing much for my eyebrow here. If you would like to see a very detailed eyebrow tutorial from me, you can drop that in the comment section. So I'm just going to show you guys what the pencil looks like. That's the pencil. So I'm just going to draw my eyebrow. So after finishing with my eyebrow, I went in with my beauty sponge by blending the concealer I used for my eyebrow out, making sure everything blends out. Then I went in with my powder by applying my powder on my eye area. So I'm not also going to be doing a detailed eye shadow today. I'm just going to be doing something I called light. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't really look light, but I'm just going to be doing something today. So I went in by using a uh, angled brush to line my eye. Then I'm going to be using the GLF Cosmetic Eyeshadow Palette for my eyeshadow, which I'm going to be showing you guys.
that's it for my eye guys that's why i said i call it light so i'm just going in by dusting off the excess powder i used in baking my face you want to make sure you dust everything out then i'm going to be using my kiss beauty powder in applying the powder i'm going to be using on my face So I'm done with my face guys. I'm going to be using an inklet gel eyeliner to water my under eye area. So I'm going in with my Flawless IV Powder Palette which I'll be using the darker shade to do a reverse contour for my cheekbone area. Sometimes this routine is not really necessary but some persons they usually do it. E.g. me, I like doing this particular routine because I want my contour to pop out like I want it popping, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm going in with my highlight which I'm going to be applying on my cheekbone area. I'm going to also apply it on my nose and the tip of my mouth. I'm lining my lip with a lip pencil so you want to line your lip with a lip pencil some persons they will you want to line your lip with a lip pencil it is compulsory because if you don't line your lip it makes your lip look big so lining your lip actually makes your lip look small so it doesn't make it look buff i don't know if you get what i'm saying so i went in by using my mac um lipstick in this particular look so i'm going to be applying my lipstick with a lip brush So I'm just applying a lip gloss on the lipstick I used so I would be right back. 
guys don't go anywhere please stay with me yes i'm back that's me looking up hoping and shining so i just went in with my kiss beauty setting spray and spraying my face and i went in also with my kiss beauty powder in locking my look more like locking everything i did so guys this is my first video on my channel please give this video a thumbs up if you like what i did please don't forget to leave a comment down below in the comment section and please guys don't forget to click on the notification bell by the side please subscribe to my channel and i promise to bring to you guys good and great content thank you for staying with me all through this video i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye guys